Hi guys, it's Zoe and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing amazing. Today I'm going to be showing you how I installed and customised, well kind of, customised this wig from Ali Pearl Hair. Ali Pearls, I think I've actually declared are my favourite like hair company. This hair is so beautiful, it's so long. This is 30 inches guys, like just look at this. It's even given 40 if I stretch it out, like it's crazy. This hair is long, it's giving glamorous. I'm imagining this hair on a beach in the summer. Now I've just come out the water, my hair's like flowing down my back. I'm wiping the sand off my feet, like that's the vibe this hair is giving and I'm actually obsessed, like I just, curly hair is gonna do it for me every single time, I'm telling you now, like, like look at the baby hairs, look at the hairline, I'm sick. But let me not spoil it too much. If you guys want to see how I installed this hair, my full thoughts. So if you want to see that, make sure you stick around. And yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in a second. Are you ready? Ooh, I know you see me standing here. So jumping right into the unboxing, this is the bag it came in. Just a cute silk bag, which I like because you can store your wigs in this after. Um, inside the packaging I just got the basics a wig cap wig band some lashes and here is the wig so I got this wig in 30 inches 250% density and HD lace first impressions of this hair was oh my god this is thick I've never had a 250% density wig especially with curly hair because curly hair naturally expands when it's dry as well so I was kind of worried about how full it was um but anyway that was a problem for later. This is what the lace looks like and I just put it on my head so you can kind of see the hairline. Right out of the packaging, I was slightly worried because the hairline looked a bit dense, um, but it was all solved the minute I started bleaching the knots, which you'll see me do in a second. That literally solved all the problems and worries and fears that I had about this wig. So if you're getting this wig, make sure you do bleach your knots. You should do this regardless. But yeah, this is what the inside of the cap looked like. It came with a elastic band already sewn in, but I took it off because it was sewn in too far down. So it wouldn't really wrap around my head properly. So if you like an elastic band, you can just re-sew that back to the position you like. But for the bleach, I used my Jerome Russell bleach and developer and left it on for 45 minutes and washed it. And as you can see, guys, this is just from bleaching the knots and it completely transformed how the hairline looked. It already looks a thousand times better. So I think the problem was just that the knots were too dark, but that's easily, easily solved. So this is what it looked like once I washed it. And then this is what it looked like after I plucked it. it plucked so easily guys this literally took me 15 minutes to pluck and it came out so beautiful i didn't have a hard time creating that gradient effect and i was really happy with the results of the bleaching and plucking so 10 out of 10 on that hand now moving on to the install here's another look at the hair and the hair texture while it's wet the thing i liked about this texture is that the hair texture actually dried looking like the wet texture if that makes sense um you'll see later on but it came out super super pretty um i started off by tinting the lace with my foundation color and a dense makeup brush and then put the wig on and this is what it looked like so far at this point you can really see how thin the lace was they did have a couple options on the website for hd lace or normal lace and as i said i got the hd lace and i think it really really made a difference on how this install came out i just parted my hair to the side really quickly because i wanted to go for a side parting because i feel like side partings always look beautiful on curly hair um, i then clipped the sides off and started cutting off the excess lace on the sides of my ears as you can see i'm doing here you do always want to be careful doing this because you don't want to mess up the sides of the hairline so i cut the sides off i'm cutting off little tabs in the lace as you can see i did there and then grabbing my better than melt wig glue i always forget to lay this down below guys but i promise i'll have a link to this glue down in the description box if you're interested because it's literally the only glue i ever use i really really like it and it doesn't actually give me a reaction like ghost bond does ghost bond gives me the worst rash ever i don't know what it is but yeah i did about three layers of this glue let each layer dry completely completely transparent and clear and then place the lace back over the top you guys know the drill as always just take your time doing this because it is vital to how your install is going to end up looking once i press the lace down i'm grabbing my rat tail comb and really just like 
again pressing down onto that lace making sure it's really really adhered to my forehead I'm even using my hands and the pressure of my fingers to make sure that it stays down and glued I'm gonna repeat this to either side of the head and then I'm grabbing my got to be hairspray um and spraying that on the sides where my lace tends to lift first I tried using the spritz method that everyone has been using on TikTok where they use spritz instead of the hairspray to melt the lace more but the spritz tends to make my hairline go white and flaky and I really really don't like how it looks so I found that the got to be is the best for doing this. Once I've got all the hair glued down I've got my preheated hot comb I've literally let this heat up for about 45 minutes um, so it's nice and hot and really gets the wig flat and I'm just pressing down on the parting that I made and once I've got that sorted out I'm grabbing an elastic band this is the one I cut off from earlier um, so it did come in use um, I'm tying that around my head really 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 tightly and letting it rest for about 10 minutes while I sort out the rest of the hair it did go slightly frizzy because of all the plucking that I did and the brushing through the hair that I did so I'm just reactivating the curls with a spray bottle full of water this is just water I didn't put any product in this hair guys I really wanted the natural texture to shine through so as you can see I'm really drenching all the water all over the hair once I've drenched each section I brush through it with my hairbrush and then scrunch it with my hand to make sure that the bounce is returned in all of the curls once I've done this and let the hairline sit for about 10 minutes I'm taking off the headband and this is what it looks like I'm grabbing my eyebrow razor and I'm gonna start cutting the lace off this is another thing I really want to take my time on and as you can see I'm going in with the back of my comb and pressing down on the lace just to again make sure that we have no lift thing whatsoever the hairline looks so beautiful at this point like if you're not a baby hairs person you could actually just leave it like that but I just wanted to add a few little baby hairs to the side because I'm extra and I feel like it really complements my face when I do have a few fluffy baby hairs added to the wig so once I part off my baby hairs I'm just gonna pluck behind where I parted before going in with my eyebrow razor again once this is done I'm grabbing my hair straighteners and just curling inwards towards my face I found this is the best technique to get the baby hairs how I want them to look I'm grabbing a light hold hairspray you do not want to use got to be hairspray for this because you'll end up with crunchy and stiff baby hairs a light hold hairspray will create just enough hold for it to stay in place but not be crunchy so yeah just a little tip for you guys I'm molding all the baby hairs to my desired look as you can see I'm doing hair and I just repeat that on both sides and it should look something like this I then finished everything off by going in with my hot comb again, making sure that the hairs on the sides are laying nice and flat and really emphasizing the hairline on all the hard work that we just did. Once I do this, I'm now grabbing a tiny detail brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and define the parting a little bit, grabbing another detail brush and just going into the gaps where I've parted the baby hairs off, just so we can ensure there's a seamless blend between everything. Those were literally all the steps it took to get this beautiful install. Here's a little close-up of the hairline, which looks unreal. I haven't had a seamless insole like this in a long long time like you know when it just looks like scalp and I think a big part of that was due to the HD lace so this wig is absolutely beautiful I've gone ahead and put up some pros and cons of this hair on the screen for you here is the length on my body I am five foot six for reference but yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment subscribe and I will see you next time